What's up, Drip Tea fam? We're back with another episode. Today, we're gonna show you guys a lot of new product we got in. We're getting ready to open the new shop, so there's gonna be so many new things in there. Also, we're gonna do an awesome review on one of our good friend's jackets. He's about to drop it. It's called Repaired Rags. We're gonna go over the jacket and all the details later. And we're also gonna do a surprise visit over to Ken J's keyboard shop. One of five in the world. So if you need keyboard equipment and you're in Seattle, or he ships too, Make sure you check it out. So like Justin said, we have a bunch of new product coming in. Uh, it's slowly going to be rolling in throughout this week, next week. Uh, first to come was these Eric Emanuel shorts. So you guys have always been asking for us to get some comfortable shorts with pockets. Uh, these are also unlined mesh shorts, which is our kind of our most favorite kind of shorts. We don't like lined shorts. They just don't fit very well. Also uncomfortable. But we have them in almost every color that uh, he's had for this past season. Black, navy. Uh, aquamarine, orange, and like this Tar Heels colorway. It's the, it's the Montreal Expos, but you know, the Tar Heels, <laughs> blue, the Tar Heels blue, you know. All these uh, shorts are actually the baseball collection. So they're, some of them are the Bodega exclusive, like the Boston Red Sox. This is a Bodega exclusive. Yeah, come support your favorite team even though the Mariners not on there. <laughs> and yeah, let's, let's get it, man. Shorter the shorts, the longer your dick. Next to come in was everyone's favorite, what everyone always asks for, more chrome hearts. We have a variety of hoodies coming in, all part of their fall winter season. So all black fleece lined, super thick, super sturdy. Uh, much, much, much heavier than the hoodies that we carried last season. This is the classic scroll banner on the front. It says Chrome Hearts on the sleeve. Scroll banner on the back. Another scroll banner. Simple, one of their cleaner hoodies. This is one of Silver my favorites. Silver dagger hoodie. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, zipper. yeah, of course. <laughs> Silver zipper, as always. We have the LA exclusive models, which we did have last season, but these are the thicker, once again, black fleece lined models. Horseshoe, cross, horseshoe, cross, LA exclusive. Not much to say here, you've seen these before. This is just the uh, heavier version. Silver zipper, of course. And these, the classic, the uh, the super expensive one, the one everybody... CL3. Yeah. The pullover version is called the CL3. I'm not actually sure what the style code is for the mm. zip-up. Um, but yeah, that code CL03 indicates floral on the sleeves and horseshoes on the front and back for their pullovers. And uh, this is the zip-up version. Also has fuck you on the hood. Which I didn't mention before, but... Uh, all of them actually, all three hoodies that we carry. Say fuck you on the hood. We have these in full size runs for all of them. They have been going quickly, so I'm not too sure what's left, um, but come try them on. Uh, these do fit a little bit different from last season too. Uh, I'd say they're a bit more snug because uh, of that fleece lining. It takes up a lot more room on the inside. So just come try them on in person. They're awesome hoodies. Uh, we press them as fairly as we can, as you guys know, so. Yeah. You speak louder. Every video yeah. I hear, like, you're, you're way quieter than us. Now, what are you listening to the show on? Your shitty TV? Oh! So, if you remember a couple episodes back, uh, I started a Chrome Hearts project. I showed you guys some vintage Levi's, and I showed you a bunch of hardware that I sourced. And the project's done, actually. So, here they are. 
uh, Chrome Arts Levi's. A couple of things that I did to him, I undid the hem, right? So, get this like raw detailing down here. Something I like when it falls over shoes, I think it looks really cool. And then uh, all that hardware that I said I'd put on here, I did. So, here's the button, fly, right? Four medium buttons, get this one. Four medium buttons, one, two, three. There's one down here. All right, the big button went up here. One, two, three, four, five, six rivets. And a scroll banner on the back. I showed you guys a couple of crosses too that I was thinking about putting on these, but I decided it looked better without them. Almost all the jeans that I see, you know, on whatever website has crosses on them. So these are just cleaner and kind of like it this way. And yeah, so this is one of the many projects that I'm finishing up. Uh, I'll tease the next one when my hardware comes in for that. Thanks. Let me do your hair. Dude, you know, so I, I, bought, I bought a ton of keyboard stuff from this Let me guy. Do your hair. And this guy, he actually knows Tony. Can I please do your hair? No. Please. No, what is this? It's just hairspray. I'm gonna wash right out with some water. What the? Nah, I'm good on that. <laughs> Bro, that's a Tresemme hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so you know we're about to redo the whole outside of the store So we just tagged it with our non-existent artistic ability Right here we got the Ken J wall uh, Most of this was done by Ken J uh, Horribly And then right here Ken J wrote his own name And he also says he sucks I don't know why We got um Yeah And then, <laughs> and then we got uh, some crazy stuff over here We got a very Badly done Hello Kitty. We have a little watermelon Lena did. And we got. Oh my god! <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> got up Cosmo over here. It's Orlando's dog. Bro, that looks like a hard part. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna What's up, guys? Ice. What do you, you want? Some uh, Akron and Vapor Maxes? I got you. Watch out, Paul. <laughs> got you. Right there. Alright, guys, a little update on the shop. We just built this countertop, Orlando and I. We have no real construction. Background. You don't, and Orlando. I don't. Orlando. Construction. Orlando, Orlando <laughs> used to fabricate uh, furniture, so he has slightly kind Orlando of a lot, has of a lot of experience. He's a master what welder. But either way, we pieced it together. We found all the pieces for it. Um, we went to like five different hardware stores, and this is the outcome. I hope you guys like it. It's a little IKEA hack. Maybe we'll show you guys in the next episode how we did it. If you guys are interested, let us know. And yeah. wearing this jacket for the past, uh, I want to say two weeks now. Uh, I've been loving every minute of it. Uh, my girlfriend says I wear it too much, but our friend Ramon, AKA My Worst Fits on Instagram, has a brand called Repaired Rags that's launching its first official piece in two days, on the 17th of September. And it is this jacket right here. It is called the Peace Flyer Jacket. Uh, it's made out of all Vienna herringbone it has reinforced patches on both sleeves, both a different pattern, which I'll show you guys later. All natural wood buttons, tiger camo lining, oversized pockets that fit a whole lot of stuff. Uh, they're called book pockets though, because it's supposed to fit like a novel in here. And then a cigarette pocket, which is really cute, which I put a lot of like small things like jewelry in. Um, really gorgeous jacket. I want to say true to size sleeves, cropped on the body a bit wider than your typical jacket too. 
So it's, it's boxy, cropped, um, but also uh, very form-fitting at the same time. It's hard to describe, but uh, it's amazing. I love it. Uh, I'll get you guys some footage of me just sort of turning around and you can check out the details of the fit. I am 5'10", 140 pounds, and I went with a large because I, I like my jacket's a little bit smaller and a little bit higher on my waist. Um, I'd say if you're about my height or a little bit taller, a large would be fine. Um, maybe if you're like 5'6 to 5'8, a medium would be good. And then uh, I'd probably reserve the smalls for like females, to be honest, they're, they're pretty small. Uh, there's also an extra large, so if you want to go for a bit of a larger fit than how mine fits me. Uh, an extra large would work too. I did try on an extra large and it fit me pretty well. Uh, I just like mine a little bit smaller, like I said. So I'll go over all the details one more time when I'm standing. But uh, yeah, Peace Flyer Jacket, Repaired Rags is the brand and it's owned by My Worst Fits. Shout out to you, Ramon. Uh, this piece is really amazing. Um, me and a couple of our friends have all sort of been wear testing it and uh, giving him our thoughts. And we're all really, really happy with the end result. So. It also comes in one more color, by the way, navy. So look out for that too. I wanna make some money, man. touches on this table we actually picked up this table from a vintage furniture store it was marked $19 but it actually came out to be $15 after tax I put like three coats on this thing Paul's just going over the last accents on the metal but yeah that was fun we also bought this at the vintage furniture store which is pretty cool check, uh, check out second use this whole thing was like an ugly blue we just rolled, o rolled it over with paint. Looks pretty good in white. I think it would be a good addition to the shop. And then what we spent all night yesterday doing was putting on these shelves and the rack. So as you can see, picked up some couple vintage finds yesterday. We were just testing them out, seeing how it looked. And then we got these Hanging racks installed. Which is pretty sick. It was a pain to level these, but it, it'll look cool once there's clothes on there. Lena started on the plant wall, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Today we're gonna stain this countertop, finish the plant wall, finish the dressing room, and then hopefully start moving some stuff in. You don't want to be seen. <laughs> Show them light today, man. You know, so like, just want to support the business, support the small, yeah. support the small business. Man. These guys will come up. She's like, man, I can't be seen with the side. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> nah. She's over there just trying to find something to rock. Come on, you don't want to be on camera, babe. Come on, come on. Come you gonna leave him hanging like that? Okay. That's all good. Come on. No, nah, appreciate y'all though. Of course, man. Appreciate you coming, man. You guys from here? 
Oh, where are you from? Yeah. We're from, we live in Cali. Oh, Cali? Yeah. Nice. What, you, what brings you over here? Going to Ken J's Keys and Kicks, man. I'm just kidding. Um, we settled with the name Typology. Figured it sounded a bit more sophisticated. Also, uh, as in KKK. Just got done painting the, uh, the inside of that table there. Gotta go wash my hands and then we'll head over to Typology, say hi to Ken J. See what he's up to today. Oh, you know, I think I could just scrape this all off, huh? Got the chrome on today, as always. Uh, plus nail, fancy link, 99 eyes. You know what these are. Oh, actually, my friend Rick actually stayed with me over the weekend. Um, and he blessed me with this hat. I don't normally wear hats, but I think this one's all right. So, thanks Rick, miss you already. Hope you had a good time here. Got me rubbing my fingers like bird, man. What you honking at me for? Tell me your address, bro. I have to look it up. I don't know what it is. You don't know your own address? Uh, it's on... Here, let me just... Let me look real quick. Kenja doesn't even know his own address, dude. Finally figured out Kenja's address to his new spot. He didn't even know it either. But we're on our way to Typology now. We'll see you there. So this over here to our left used to be a uh, one of our only boutiques in Seattle called Totokayo. It was one of my favorite stores to hang out at. I couldn't really afford anything there while they were open, other than the occasional sneaker or something, but um, it's gonna become a vintage mall now. So one floor is gonna be a vintage mall, and then the other floor is gonna be like Macklemore's uh, clothing brand. It's like a golf-centric clothing brand. Bogey Boys? Bogey Boys, that's what it's called. Shout out <laughs> Bogey Boys, I guess. I don't really know too much about it, but shout out Macklemore. Town cat. I used to see him around growing up, going to thrift stores and actually just like seeing him because before he was famous, before that like uh, thrift shop song, he was literally just regular dude, like super town cat. See him at Starbucks, maybe not Starbucks, see him at like, you know, a cooler than Starbucks coffee shop. See him at the, uh, the bookstore next to Toto Kyle. Sometimes you'd see him at Likelihood. And he was just around. Now he's not around, but he was. Macklemore, shout out to you, man. It's over there. Just waiting for the opportune moment to jaywalk. I've been sleeping on this man, dude. Uh, chillin', just big enough for me. Bro, get the fuck get out of here. Yeah, that bit is cool. That's when it's hard. If you guys don't know, I'm a... Hangul Saram. Korean person. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're like, I am Hangul Saram. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm gonna buy this desk mat from Kenja because I'm running matless right now. Just raw mouse and keyboard on wood. It's not fun. The board sounds different when it's on a mat too. Does it really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Doesn't sound as hollow. In the shop, I still got a ton of stuff I gotta put out, but a lot of keycaps. And if you don't know, these are these are not cheap. Like this set of keycaps. Uh, this actually just shipped out. Um, people, when they want to buy these, they got to pretty much pre-order what it seems like sometimes like a year in advance. Like you got to pre pre-order essentially, and uh, on the aftermarket, they'll go from anywhere from like two to like some really expensive ones, like six, seven hundred dollars, um, just for a set of keycaps. There's not a board in there. It's just 
visually just the caps themselves. They're really high quality, made in Germany. Um, Paul over here doing nunchucks with the desk mat. Oh my God, dude, that thing's <laughs> freaking heavy. Got some desk mats. Uh, again, some of these are really hard to get and they only come out once. Like this one is for uh, a group I call GMK Oni. These probably go for like 60. Someone might pay like a hundred bucks for that desk mat. That's just really hard to find. Some of the other ones aren't as hard to get like this little sushi desk mat. Uh, still like these go for like 30, 40 bucks. So just a lot of uh, cool stuff here. I still got to put a ton of stuff out. I just don't have room. I'm trying to figure out how I want to display everything. So that's pretty much it, man. Place is messy. Real messy. This place is not called Ken J's Keys and Kicks, by the way, guys. It's, it's legitimately called Typology. Please don't look up Ken J's Keys and Kicks. You won't find this place. You won't like that. <laughs> Typology, please. Uh, cute spot, man. Really, uh, really modern in there. It's gonna be spacious enough, I think, for what he's trying to do. Glad I was able to support, be his first real customer in person. Buy some desk mats, which I desperately needed. I'm uh, just happy for him overall. It's cool that he's like transitioned his um, YouTube and Discord community slash brand into a physical storefront. I know that always feels good. I'm sure he's happy about it too. I liked it in there. Uh, everybody watching this, please go support Typology uh, during his grand opening, whenever that may be, TBD for now. Wait! Oh shit! Look what I found outside, somebody made us a little plank. So cute. Bread. All right guys, so you saw Ken J's shop. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you check him out. He's opening very soon. He's gonna have all the best keyboard setups that you can imagine. Um, like I said, we've been busy working on this. Hopefully it will be open the first week of, uh, the first week of October. It's been a long time coming. We're super excited to show you the space. We got one of our good friends, Beach, over here. Chilling. What up? You guys don't know him. Um, yeah, <laughs> he's just a good friend of ours. <laughs> and that's about it. Stay tuned for the next episode. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. And we'll see you next week. And like, comment, and subscribe.